hello friends uh, welcome again and uh, this is my uh, fourth video and uh, many of the students uh, asked me that how they can store the data in s3 right so in this uh, tutorial uh, we will store our uh, node red uh, data means the data which has been sent by node red into the s3 bucket right so in the previous week video i have already explained you that how you can store the data in uh, dynamodb using the aws iot rules but in this video i am using the s3 right so let's start so for uh, configuring this uh, node red and uh, how to create mqtt uh, broker and how can you connect a node red with uh, certificate uh, through AWS IoT code. So uh, these all things I have explained you in my previous video, right? So in this video, I will uh, explain you that how you can store your node red data into the S3 bucket, right? So let's start. So uh, for running this project, uh, you must have the node red application on your system and uh, proper active AWS IoT core right so this is the flow which i have created on the node red console right so you can see this is a timestamp that is an inject this is a function i have not changed anything if you can see this is the function and i am using the same thing right i have not changed anything just done and deploy and you can see this is a connected and i am using the same uh, iot uh, server the endpoint url same security certificates what i have explained you in my previous video right the same things i have used right the same topic i'm going to use the node red test right so the setup will be same uh, as i have done earlier right so for uh, uh, creating this poc you must have uh, knowledge about that how you can create uh things how you can create rules these all things you must know right and if you don't have knowledge you can go through my past videos and you can after that you will be easily configure your node red application uh, and you can configure your aws iot and you can connect your aws iot core through this node red application so let's start so this is the application which i have a, I, I have already developed right so this is a timestamp function and node red now what i'm going to do uh, so first let me show you how data is flowing so currently i'm using this topic the node red topic right this is the node red topic and then if i go on the act test and entity test client and i'm going to subscribe this topic node red right so there is nothing here now i'm going to send data from here so how we can send just click on this button and you will be able to see the application here this uh, data has been sent by the node red application now i am going to save this data in s3 bucket right so how we can do that so for performing any type of actions you must uh, you need a rule right and after that you can act action for that so click on the act and there is a rules once you click on the rules you will get this panel just click on the create rules now i am adding the rule node red uh, node red uh, s3 action right node red, uh, node red save data to right so you can add this here also and after that this is the select statement right here you need to select a topic so what's our topic name our topic name is node red test so i am going to copy this topic name and then after i am adding that topic name here right so it will select all the things which will come on this topic and after that i will add the action right so with what action you want to do so store message in an s3 bucket right once you click on this and click on configure action right it's asking for 
saving the S3, right? And choose S3 bucket. So I am going to create a new resource, S3, and then the bucket name I'm going to add node red S3 data, right? Sorry, I need to create a new bucket. I'm searching, right? Create bucket and hit blue, right? And then just don't change anything. Just click on create bucket, right? Once you click on the create bucket, it will be created. You can see this is node red S3 data is here. Now come on your at full part and select that node thread S3, right? The key. Key means um, in which file the you want to save the data of these things, right? So I am adding the same key, node red, or you can uh, select that thing's name that is the IoT core right so i am going to add a core i am going to select the same things which i have created here manage things you have created the things here the node red things right and i am going to this one it will store data into the node red things right and then create rule if you don't have the rule then create rule and then this one uh, node red s3 save data right and then i have created the rule so this is the policy attached so it has automatically attached the policy and then click on the create action and then check all the things yeah it's working it's all things are okay create rules once you click on the rules then it has been created right your rule is created and you can see the action has been added store a message store a message in an amazon s3 bucket store a message right i will explain you later there is a clue here right store a message means it will store a single message right okay let's see so it has been done now what i am going to do again uh, test empty client and i'm going to subscribe that topic and what's the topic name i have already that is the node red test and then this one the subscribe okay so i have subscribed i am clearing the data now i am going to send my first data this one yes yeah it came here now go on that s3 bucket what's that bucket name node red s3 you can see there is a Key here and after that if you click here and if you download it right you will be able to see that data right so there is only a single data now what i'm going to do right i'm going to send multiple data here right so one two three four five six means i sent six messages and in the IoT test client, you will get six messages, correct? But if you open this S3, right? If you refresh this also, right? Okay. So it will store a single message only. Download it. Yes, it has downloaded. Now open it. So you can see it has stored the single message, right? The latest message which which node red sent it has stored that how you can see now i'm going to change something in the function latest right now i'm going to done deploy and send it again so it will store the latest data I refresh it and then see download it yes so yeah this is the second file you can see this is the latest data right so because there is a restriction means you can't write or append data in s3 directly through the rules right from the iot rules iot core right so 
in my next video i will explain you that how you can add multiple data how you can append data in s3 how you can create multiple files how you can create time series data so these all things i am going to explain you in my next video right so there we will use the kinesis firehorse and the s3 bucket for storing all of the data which is coming from uh, different devices it can be a physical device it can be a virtual or it can be a simulator right you can store all of the data uh, in s3 all of the data through the kinesis firehorse create using the batch size right or the time duration right so i will explain you i will um, create a separate video for that from where you can use the kinesis firehorse and you can store all of the data in the s3 bucket right and if you face any type of issue during the practical of this example just put your uh, problems and issue there in the comment i will reply you there i will help you to connect your node rate through aws iit core and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on different technologies and different stacks thanks for watching the video thank you very much